It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. None shall pass. Capiche? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No. She looks like a pissed off wet cat. And she's Sorry, still stylish. No allowed. Keep walking, hippie. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Keep on. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Awesome. None shall pass. Capiche? This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's you still stylish. Get lost. Yeah. Dude. Max, rewind and find something.
Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay, let's see if this works. Nice. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama Sweet. queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Max, get a clue. Awesome! Wait. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Nice, Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't... Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. No. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Nice. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... No. and the go-fuck-yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll yeah. see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere.
Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. I am so addicted to this site. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. It's so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. You are ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Hey, Juliet. Is Oh, yes, Max. This is so stupid. What did she do? What didn't she do? Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you... That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last... Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm if flattered. Out, I, I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do... According to Victoria... She saw... Th I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this nice shot. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition. Speaking of selfies, Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. I'll
Oh. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. this shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn. I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. 
I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. 